What I love about the tools of access consciousness. So this is my first tool that I'm sharing and it's this question of who does this belong to? So I learned the tool, the question of who does this belong to years and years and years ago. If you ever come to an access class or if you've come to an access class, it's one of the first tools that you learn. And when it was presented to me, I thought, well, of course, all this pain, all this upset, all this limitation, all of this stuff belongs to me. I can sense it. It's mine. It must be mine. I'm upset. But I started asking the question, who does this belong to? To every thought, to every feeling, to every emotion, and to every and any funky energy that I was having. And what I started noticing was stuff was lightening up. All of a sudden, when I'd ask, who does this belong to? There was this lightening that occurred. And I learned that if you ask, who does this belong to? And it lightens up at all, it actually means it's not yours. So that was a really big eye-opening experience for me because I went, wait a minute, if all these thoughts, feelings, emotions, and funky energies aren't mine, what is me? You mean all of this other stuff isn't me, so what am I? What am I like? What is my world like if it's not all this stuff? And it also really opened my eyes to how aware I was of everything going on around me that was either spoken or unspoken, revealed or not revealed. Sometimes I was picking up on stuff coming from other people that they weren't even aware of or acknowledging that they had going on. So it became this like, whoa, depth of awareness moment when I recognized how aware I was. So who does this belong to is an incredible question to start to stoke and access and catalyze the awareness of how aware we are. What if 99% of what you call problems and restrictions in your lives are not actually your problems? Welcome to what I love about the tools of access consciousness.